Hi, I'm Kylie, just another Army vet. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm reacting to five most elite military units. Now, when I think of secret military units, I think of units such as SEAL Team 6, OSS, 9 Para SF. Other than that, my knowledge base on this subject is very limited, with the exception of the movies such as The Dirty Dozen or Glorious Bastards. But let's get real, those don't really count. Special Observations Group Mac V Sog. The Military Assistance Command Vietnam Studies and Observations Group, or Mac V Sog, was a covert unit created by the U.S. Army and the Pentagon in the years before the outbreak of the Vietnam War. There's a lot of secret shit going on in Vietnam. In Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia from 1964 Stuff we still to 1973. Sog remained classified until the late 1990s, and it was not until the 2000s when the men who serve in the classified unit were formally recognized by the U.S. government. MACB SOG was created to function as a joint special operations task force between the U.S. government and military branches, with recruitments from the Green Berets, CIA, Navy SEALs, Air Force, Marine Corps, and the South Vietnamese military. Ow. MACB SOG teams usually operated in 10 man squads and were deployed behind enemy lines via parachute drops. The men were given almost total freedom regarding the equipment and clothing they could use for their missions. Enemy weaponry, such as AK 47s, RPK machine guns, and old Soviet PPHSs were often used to disorient the enemy during firefights. I can imagine that. Mac V men also M4. significantly extended the first iteration of M4 carbines, also known as commandos, which were smaller than the standard issue M16 rifle given they to all American M4s personnel back then? in Vietnam. The covert unit specialized in a wide array of missions that ranged from strategic reconnaissance, search and rescue, sabotage, psychological operations, and counterintelligence. As the war raged on, MACB assumed more roles that turned more perilous as the U.S. steadily withdrew from the war. It was not uncommon to hear tales of SOG units that went up against entire regiments of North Vietnamese units and made it out alive, causing tremendous damage to the enemy. Of the more than 50 MACB SOG operators captured by the enemy, only one survived, and the rest were never seen again. You don't want to know what kind of deaths they had at the hands of the enemy. That stuff you wouldn't even want to read about. Couldn't imagine the horror of those kind of deaths. To this day, MACB SOG remains the unit with the highest kill-death ratio in U.S. military history. Eventually, nine Green Berets, two Navy SEALs, one Army medic, and one Air Force pilot that served in the unit received the Medal of Honor, while 30 other members were awarded the Distinguished Service Cross. Wow. And received a presidential unit citation during a celebration at Fort Bragg in 2001. Office of Strategic Services, OSS. The Office of Strategic Services, or OSS, was the United States' first intelligence agency and the precursor of the CIA and the Bureau of Intelligence and Research. As a homage to the OSS, Special Operations Command, SOCOM, actually got the design from them of their patch of their spearhead. OSS was born during World War II as a joint organization of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Its main objective was to coordinate the espionage activities of all branches of the American military across all theaters of the conflict. Additional roles of the OSS included the coordination of the propaganda effort and subversion activities in enemy-occupied territories. Prior to World War II, the U.S. government left the intelligence recollection to foreign policy experts and each government department. The state, treasury, navy, and war departments gathered intelligence independently without any joint control or cooperation between them. The strategy was not efficient, as every department kept the information to themselves. And an example of this failing would be Pearl Harbor. And had different code-breaking protocols. When President Franklin D. Roosevelt took office as global tensions escalated during wartime, he became concerned about the state of American intelligence. After repeated suggestions made by British intelligence officer William Stephan Insos, the president asked World War I veteran Colonel William Donovan to draft a plan for an intelligence service inspired by the British MI6 Secret Intelligence Service. Donovan then submitted a memorandum reflecting the president's view to create a national intelligence center for espionage, covert operations, and more activities. After the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, the need to create an American intelligence center drastically increased. The OSS was finally created on June 13, 1942, to collect and analyze information that could be Not used long to after Pearl Harbor. staff. From then on, the OSS would grow in number to send highly trained What's going on with those masks? Can world. somebody please tell me that? would become crucial in the Allied war effort. The office provided the armed forces with essential information to maximize the damage caused by Allied bombing raids over German-occupied Europe. OSS men also helped coordinate the guerrillas in Europe. 
The operators would arm partisan forces and provide them with weapons and supplies required to Such wreak havoc the French on resistance. The commandos trained for all sorts of deployments, including parachuting, skiing, mountain climbing, amphibious landings, and others. They also operated in France, Italy, Burma, Malaya, China, Yugoslavia, and Greece. When the war ended, the Office of Strategic Services had over 13,000 enlisted personnel. Then, wow. on September 20th, 1945, President Harry S. Truman canceled the OSS to create the Central Intelligence Group, the direct precursor of the CIA. To this day, the United States Special Operations Command, founded in 1987, still uses the spearhead design employed by the OSS as an homage to the unit. 39th Special Forces Detachment Never heard of these guys. The 7781 Army Unit, or 39th Special Forces Operational Detachment, was one of the most secret units of the Cold War era. It is said that these brave men who greeted the communist enemies on a daily basis prevented the outbreak of World War III. The main objective of the 7781 Army Unit was to keep West Berlin from falling to the Soviets by forming an armed resistance if the city was attacked. Trained in all sorts of spycraft skills, no agent belonging to this unit was ever identified by the Soviets or its allies. When World War II ended in 1945, and the entire globe was divided into two factions, the city of Berlin became the melting pot Who of were the Soviet allies back then? However, it was not until 1956 that the United States formally sent an elite unit to Berlin to spy on and counter the Soviets stationed in the east. In August of 1956, the 10th Special Forces Group located in Bad Tolls sent the classified 7781 Army Unit to West Berlin. The unit consisted of six detachments of six men each that were incorporated into the 6th Infantry Regiment. Each team was composed of a Master Sergeant and five team members, while a Major and a Captain were in command of the entire unit. In April of 1958, the unit's name changed to Department A when they moved to Building 904 at Andrew Barracks. Or Andrew Barracks is. From then on, the Green no, Berets conducted the espionage missions, gathered intelligence, and countered the Soviet influence in the sector. They were also in ground zero of the most volatile zone in Europe and kept the continent safe without ever firing a shot. This unit of covert Green Berets would operate in West Berlin from 1956 to 1984 and was later reactivated in October of 2005 to train South Korean commandos in tensions Are with North Korea. Are they still operating well. today? Soviet GRU The main directorate of the General Staff of the Armed Forces of the Russian Federation, or GRU, is the Military Intelligence Unit of the Russian Federation. GRU has its own Special Forces units and controls all military intelligence. The agency has the power to command highly trained Spetsnaz troops, and send agents overseas to gather intelligence for the Russian government. GRU was created by Joseph Stalin in 1942, after the German invasion of the Soviet Union. Agents deployed within the nation were tasked with handing over traitors, while those outside were ordered to infiltrate the British and American governments to gather intelligence on the latest weapons developments. During the Cold War, GRU had spies in the Soviet embassies across the world, while others worked without diplomatic cover and spied on the enemy, especially in zones that later became militarized, Vietnam. such as Korea and Vietnam. The existence of GRU remained classified until the Soviet Union ceased to exist in 1991, and the powerful organization continues to operate to date. Interesting. SEAL Team 6 DevGru. Alright, SEAL Team 6. They're the the Navy guys Special who Warfare Development Group took down Osama bin Laden. And known as SEAL Team 6 is a U.S. Navy unit from the Joint Special Operations Command, or JSOC. SEAL Team 6 is a classified unit, and few details about its operation are known. However, it is said that the division specializes in counterterrorism, like an Air Force rescue, uniform. And direct action against high-value targets. That was weird. The top secret unit was created after the failure of Operation Eagle Claw in 1980, when Richard Marcinko and the Navy saw the need to create a full-time counterterrorist that unit. That had to do with the Iran hostage crisis, I believe. It was a failed rescue attempt of those 52 embassy staff members. Although there were only two SEAL teams, Marcinko created the unit and named it SEAL Team 6 to confuse Soviet spies. I have heard that before, actually. The unit was eventually dissolved in 1987. So again, that's the Air Force formed. uniform, or... However, many still refer like to it as least. SEAL Team 6. The unit initially started with 80 men, but it is estimated that over 2,000 men serve in it today. Ooh. He has some snakes going on. SEAL Team boots. 6 had unlimited resources for completing its missions, but like Delta Force, it is a top-tier American unit. SEAL Team 6 also became famous because of Operation Neptune Spear, the hunt for and termination of Al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden. 
However, the unit has also participated in numerous operations whose details are still kept from the public. So that was a very informative video. The music was a good song choice. It gave the video a whole spy movie feel, which was fun. And something to think about is that the most secretive unit out there, the ones that you don't know about, there's units out there today that we will not know about for decades when and if they become declassified. And one thing I want to point out about this list, this list was very West-centric. If someone can find a video that is less biased, then please drop that in the comments. I would love to react to that. So until next time, why don't you smash that like button and check out this video right here. Thanks for watching.